Rising band right, flight I'm doing interview. I'll shout you after. With me, I've got the sauce, Lawrence Coley, Lauren. Yeah, not too bad. How's that going? Assess that performance from Anthony. No, it was good. It's a good performance. Yeah, no, it was a good professional performance. Um, there was a lot of talk about how fit he is, what his stamina is like, and Parker was a good durable fighter, and he was still fit for 12 rounds at the kid of 15. So it was good professional um, professional performance. What did you make of the scorecards? A lot of people thought it was really, really wide. They were wide, but at the same time, I, don't, I didn't see many rounds that I thought AJ lost. But I was nervous or anything like that, so he dominated the centre of the ring and had Parker sort of manoeuvring around, so it was good. Yeah. He didn't normally, he didn't generally throw his, his right hand quite a lot. He didn't yeah. really. That because of the way Parker was moving yeah, around, sure. moving his head around? Yeah, for sure. Parker was um, um, moving towards Joshua's backhand, but dipping away from it. So it created a weird angle and it was, it, was, it was a clever tactic. At the end, obviously, he went on the mic and called out the WBC champion. Mm. Obviously, Deontay couldn't be here today, yeah. which we discussed, but um, is that fight going to happen now? I think so. I mean, at the end of the day, as AJ said, 21 and all, six world title fights, two unifications, four belts, fifth one rating. So he's shown time and time again, this is what he wants to do, even from early. Um, so it's up to Wilder now to show that he doesn't, he's, he's not just talking. Because right now it looks like AJ is taking all the risks, you know, collecting the belts and then Wilder wants to come in and try grab them all at the end. But now he has to get for AJ, so it'll be, it'll be, it'll be good. So. I know you've been camping with him, he's coming in the lightest ever. Do you think that helped him? I think that helped him with the style of fight he had to do for this fight. So he had to do a lot of moving, a lot of chasing. Um, and I think he knew that going into the fight. But um, I think depending on who he fights next, it will depend on how much he is. Champ, go enjoy your Saturday you. night. Cheers. Go get some sauce. <laughs> <laughs> we'll catch up to Lawrence Corey. Yes, the fight had to come. Thank you very much.